Kieran from Irish Football Fan TV here. Just after finishing up with Bose and Shamrock Rovers, where Bohemians have won 1-0. They've now gone two points at top of the league ahead of St. Patrick's Athletic. I'm here with none other than Shane Supple. Shane, how, what do you think about the game? Uh, great run, great result for Bose, obviously. Uh, decent performance as well after the initial 10, 15 minutes, you know, pressure from Rovers. And obviously, descending off as well for the players' parts in the game. But I thought the Bose lads, especially young lads, you know, considering the occasion and a night like tonight, a lot of them wouldn't have experienced that before. So it was great for them to, you know, play in that atmosphere and get, and get a result as well and give them great belief going forward now for the rest of the season. Even though uh, Rovers um, had a lot of, the, like you said, in the first 15 minutes, had a lot of the ball and whatnot. They w- didn't really create that much, and I suppose it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be unfair to say that Bowes were still actually getting a grip on the game before the send off. Would you agree? Oh no, they're definitely yeah, getting a grip on the game at that stage, you know. And you're probably playing the better football and starting to knock it around with a bit more confidence, you know. So who knows what would have happened, you know, if they send off having a courage, you know. I still think Bowes would have gone on. They'd have looked confident, as I said, and um, a lot of boys have played in games like this before, you know, and they have the belief that they can, you know, go on and, and win games. And they're a, they're a good group of lads by all accounts, and you know they, they seem to stick together and, and fight for each other and play for each other, which is which is great to see. What did what do you think about uh, Rovers' changes in the second half? Um, I was I was too busy watching balls to see would they make any changes to be honest. But I I, I thought they would obviously bring on the likes of Dan Carr and give them a bit of a threat up front. Um, you know, a bit, bit more pace maybe out there as an outlet to get them higher up the pitch. Um, but again, I think you know, the Rowers team, um, uh, you know, I'm not sure what, what they have there to, to, to bring on that will, you know, add to, this, add to it. Um, again, looking at the Bowes team, they're a, t- a very together bunch of, a bunch of lads who play for each other. Um, and I think that's one thing that they have our Rowers at the moment. After um, having to take off Boyle right back, they moved their Joey Bryant to the right hand side. Um, fair to say that Ward pretty much uh, yeah I thought they saw that as an area that they could you know expose um, and I proved obviously with the penalty I'm not sure if it was a penalty to be honest um, looking from from where I was um, I think they were, were creating a lot out that side yeah, anyway yeah they were creating a lot you know and Seth and Dara, Dara getting up and down there all the time as well you know with some engine on, on him so it was a, an area that they did you know obviously in the end they paid dividends for them and they, and they got the penalty um, but it was you know a lot of a lot of play coming down that side yeah. too early to make predictions about where he's going to finish yeah, definitely far too early, you know. I think after the first round of games it gives you a better idea, you know, of, of where everyone's at and you know, everyone has played against each other and um we'll see, but it, it's looked good so far from Bowles, you know, it's, it's three wins and three clean sheets yeah. and you know, a derby win at this stage of the season is massive for, for everyone concerned with Bowles and more so the young boys that were coming to the team. I think this will give them great confidence going forward. Yeah, great atmosphere. great atmosphere at the end of the game, definitely. Um, well, anyway, thanks very much for your time, Shane, and uh, really appreciate it. No okay, thank you. All right.